Norman. Uh, so looking into it last night, it looks like the guide that I was looking at for the 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 tarot cards, because I was concerned that I missed one, uh, is incorrect, and they actually listed the first card twice. So, uh, yeah. Also, uh, seemingly, uh, just based off of this guide, uh, it, it only shows two tarot cards left, so hypothetically we're actually, like, in the final chunk of the game. Uh, which is kind of cool. Means we can knock this out relatively quickly, hypothetically. And, uh, knock another game out of the list. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, of course, you know, we still gotta finish. What was it? Deadly Premonition and Last of Us? I think those are the only- oh, fuck me. I think those are the only other ones in progress? Oh, and the Crooked Man. Also, I just realized. Hold on. Properties. Uh, excluding all the other games that are in progress that uh, we uh, that are mop ups. You know. So yeah, Crooked Man, Deadly Premonition, and The Last of Us. And Crooked Man isn't supposed to be terribly long. I know Deadly Premonition is long. Ish. And Last of Us is long for, for some people. I mean, we've already played it for, what, like four hours? Three hours? Uh, and we're... The longest chunk of the game is summer. So... A little far. Oh, I guess the tarot cards are also used to beat the game, uh, get the good ending or whatever. Some enemies- Oh, why are we doing hidden enemies? That annoys me. Fucking... Dark and Deep was doing hidden enemies and that annoyed me. Some, some, some enemies are hidden and can only be seen with the scanner. Normal weapons do not harm them, but the flash attachment can stun them. Equip the scanner and press left mouse to use the flash attachment. Be warned, it makes noise and has a cooldown. Okay, it stuns them. So am I supposed to run from them? Pegasus Crest. <sighs> so yeah, there should be two more tarot cards. So we just gotta be on our on our shit. And then we'll have beaten this game with the good ending. Cool. 
Snor has one of those in his room. Calworth! Looks like something is missing. probably find it anyway, but oh my god. Hell, you love cursed dick. It's pitch black down here and I can't see anything. My flashlight keeps shutting off randomly and won't turn back on. There are creatures down here, but I can't see them without the device I found. Nothing seems to harm them, but they are sensitive to light, and they are attracted by sound. If you find yourself down here, keep quiet, move slowly, and pray that you have some source of light. Oh, good. Death! I love death. Hey, what the? Oh, you sneaky cunts! That's not ominous. Looks like something's missing. Okay. So basically, the TLDR of what has happened so far. Yes, actually. Uh, the, the TLDR is there was this game developer who wanted to make an ambitious video game in the 1980s. And as is the trend in game dev, his ideas were too ambitious for the technology at the time. However, upon looking into stuff, he found some special type of programming language called Leviathan, which I think is a reference to Hellraiser. And it seemingly had infinite possibilities. Uh, and, and a lot of the functions were in Latin. And he was even commenting about how there's like all these dev disks that you can find where he's like, giving, like, his his uh, uh, thoughts about the game-making process. Um, and the, the function seemed more like almost incantations or whatnot, but, you know, he decided to use it anyway because it was, like, really, Im like, really ahead of its time and he could kind of do anything. And he eventually got so worked up with making the game, he felt like he was kind of, like almost being possessed like he, he he wouldn't even remember programming stuff or like he'd be typing out code before he could even think about it and during this process he had a nightmare of this this dude with like a white face or, or that spider-man antagonist type dude that we were seeing earlier uh mr tops as he calls him uh and tldr it seems like this is like some sort of demonic or eldritch source code like demonic eldritch programming language or whatever and that is basically trying to like tear down the fabric of reality or whatever and uh when people play the game it allows mr tops to suck them into the game and he kills them and takes their souls and after he gets enough souls i guess he can like fuck up earth or reality a bit more uh however 
the developer started to realize the dangers of this, even though he couldn't stop himself from finishing the game. So he started to program stuff to try to help people complete the game, which is our uh, little scanner device, which uh, patches back in things that Mr. Tops removed, because Mr. Tops is like this self-learning AI thing that is capable of, like, fucking with and altering the game. Oh, well, he said Latin, but... Oh, and there's tarot cards everywhere. So, uh, these pink things that you're seeing, when we see it through the, uh, uh, uh... What? Oh, there we go. Uh... Oh, God damn it! Now we're in a spot where we can't fight enemies. I guess we can only stun them. Um... These pink things are, are, are things that we can see in the scanner that we can patch back into reality. This is a little annoying. Based off of the dev uh, the previous people logs, uh, these things can't be hurt by conventional weaponry. They can only be hurt by light. now, like, we found, like, guns and shit that we could, like, hurt enemies with, but, uh... This is kind of dumb. This part. Fuck! No! I want to scan! Cal, you love General Hospital. Why they call you General Hospital Cal? Fuck off. How <sighs> you love eleven herbs and spices. That's why they call you spicy cow. Listen to that, all right. I thought they called you spicy cursed.
Look at him go. I okay, see so you can lose them, good. We just did things the saber way. With buffoonery. And goonery. Cal, you love Willow Foreskins. Serial? GG. Uh, I don't know, maybe. I don't have the Castlevania Dominus collection yet. Also, the list is pretty, pretty stacked. I might add it as a, uh, a thing for, like, the wheel or whatever. I might pick Dominus Collection up when I get my next unemployment check. Maybe. I do have Lords of Shadow as a Castlevania game that's on the, uh, as a candidate. The next, uh, the next ones that I know of would be, uh, Lords of Shadow, uh, Portrait of Ruin, and Curse of Darkness. Raging. Curse. Don't be mad. Cursed. Cursed. Steam money, Saru. Ooh, get out of here. Squiggly little man. There's a lever somewhere that like lights everything up. Gimme, 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 gimme! Cal, you love purple tentacle keys. That's why they call you purple tentacle, uh, Cal. Purple calico.
Purple Tentacal. That might be the next nickname I give you in the Discord. But also at the same time, I'm still partial to floral swag bitches love your soup. Any floral swag bitches in chat? I think I have everything from in there. I hope. What's he killing? I think so, yeah, actually, Sarah. Uh, I thought it was, um, I thought I had missed a tarot card, and because I, I was trying to get them all, because they seemed to unlock cool shit. Uh, and based off of the, this collect, it turns out I, I didn't miss any, uh, just the guide actually listed the first one <laughs> twice for some reason. Um... And the got that that tarot card guide uh, only lists two more, and we just got one of them. So, hypothetically, unless there's like 18 hours of gameplay after that, uh, we should be at the end. A few of the um, what should we call it? Uh, YouTube videos that I saw. I didn't watch them, but just lengthwise, were um, about five hours. So. We played for like four hours last night. There isn't much time left. Rapid escalation is taking place. The device is nearly complete and this universe that we have built is nearly finished. The souls we cage here, however, at least have a chance to survive. Thanks to this device, I found a way to record our memories and store them on disk. Hopefully, this will help future victims. Leviathan hungers and it must be fed. Hell, you love Leviathan. Oh. Like, you see, like, I don't know when you, when you dipped, Cal, but, like, uh... We got a crowbar, we got a revolver, and we got a shotgun. So it's like, this game actually has combat. And I've intentionally avoided using most pistol rounds, so I'm pretty well stacked. Oh good. Let me guess, this is gonna close. And we got a yellow, a piss door, no. Cal, can you go with that? Yep, okay, we're dealing with the dark and spooky boys again. Cal loves dark spooky boys. They call me the battle better. No, they don't. Pass the duchy on the left hand side. Sculpture of a raven, and its wings are missing. Is it the bird of Hermes? Any birds of Hermes in chat?
I don't see any squiggly boys yet. I don't see any pink. You know, on top of the outside of the decor. Away from me! How did you see me? I'm supposed to be blind. Oh, that's your pathing. I do have to say this, uh, this section of the game where we're, uh, taking away the player's control, uh, ability to defend themselves properly, uh, is weaker. I'm less thrilled about having to crouch walk everywhere. It's going to be like before where there's multiple items. And there's probably a path to get a fence. To the gate, rather. Somewhere. Oh, they kind of... Bl if, if that is the enemy, they kind of blend into the wall. That's where... Hey, get away from me. And then when you get by them, they, 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 they squirtle out. Okay. We got the shortcut unlocked. Oh yeah, where's the last tarot card? Just so I keep an eye out for it. The center half of the yellow Leviathan corridor. So we're in the pink one. We don't need to worry about shit. Hypothetically. Squiggly McGee, Squiggly McGee, he's gonna wander around and watch you squee. Wait for me. So then, hypothetically, at the other side, there's a rose? Here it rose, Hathorn. Deep double railroad in the squirm. At least we don't have to worry about the bye bye man. The most fearsome adversary to ever live. Zero, it's okay, the bye bye man can't get you. Hey, go away from me. No. Hey, go away from me. Yeah, bye bye man can't get you. Oh, 
Yeah, you love the Hello Hello Woman, uh, per, uh, Sarah. She's such a nice lady. save again like a big big baby like a big big baby I'm a big big baby deep double deep double do judgment like Yakuza? Cal, you love Yakuza. That's why the, you're the matriarch of the Starfire clan. Ah, uh, you see, I, I, I switched it up instead of, like, saying that you're called Yakuza Cal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. It's great. It's a great joke. And we have to be careful. Everything in here is yellow, which means it's probably stained with lollipus. So it's just really unsanitary. These are probably invisible lollies. Just pissing everywhere. Pissing and mewling. I mean, that's the thing, you know? That's it's kind of the, 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 the way the, the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. It's been years and years of your life writing or working on something. Or putting effort into something. And nobody... Nobody's there. I don't see any poo-poo peepee, man. <gasps> but I did see a spooky. I did see a spooky. Oh, there's the spooky. What is beloved? I've never heard that term before. Beloved. Kind of like when I heard invaginated for the first time and I got really upset because of the context of it. Oh. <laughs> Judgment. Deep Dibba Railroad Town. Very good. All damage is reduced indefinitely. I guess we got all the final dev disc, which is cool. Uh... Sorry, I was just looking at something. Isn't that every game that Greg Chun is in? I think it's it's written in his contract that he can only play detectives tracking down serial killers with a thing for eyes.
Final dab dick. This will most likely be my last message. If you find yourself listening to this, please know that I am truly sorry. All I wanted to do was make a game. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Mr. Tops must be stopped, but as long as the book exists in this world, he cannot be destroyed. You must first destroy it. He keeps it locked away behind a door with an ever-changing key. The key will be something that represents you in the real world. Find it. Open the door and burn the book. No. I don't want to. Cal, you love dickless Sephiroth tw twins. Just the other day, you were like, man, I wish those dickless Sephiroths would just rub their nubs all over my house. And I was like, Cal, what the fuck are you talking about? Great shot to the rose. Yeah. It's gonna be difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Fuck it. Nanba. Alright. I'm gonna be a little bitch baby and run back to the save point, cause I don't, I don't wanna do that ever again. Maybe there's more in those rooms? 
Or did we only need roses? The rose smells like poo poo. What? No. I'm supposed to come this way. Go back home. Put the roses here. There. <clears throat> oh, good, it's the Coom Dimension. Does the guide list where the where we're supposed to use the tarot cards? Does he? Uh Okay, later. Okay. <clears throat> Sup, skull boy. What if he was voiced by Greg Chun? Seduce him! Yeah, fuck you, I burned your book. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, you, you fuck ass. You smelly little wumbo. Would you roll to seduce Mr. Tops? That was easy. I don't know where I use this. Oh, maybe maybe on this little statue lady? Little, little, little thingy thing? No. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't kill you. Maybe you would. Maybe I'm going the right way? I don't know. Despite the f like, there's like very little info on this game on Steam, which is really upsetting. So in the event I do get stuck on a puzzle, it's like, there's there's nothing I can do, except for try to scrub through somebody else's YouTube video. Which is not ideal. Takes too long. Takes too long. Okay, this is where we did all that shit. Did I already go down through yonder? I do not remember. Uh, presumably. Oh yeah, that's this this that's the fun house. Cal, you love fun houses. That's why they call you Funhouse Cal. 
Uh, okay, we were here. There's this thing. Maybe it's up here. Well, I'm not talking about Funhouse the group. They're 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 whatever. I'm talking about like you know. Spooky carnival fun houses. The real fun houses. Not that crap sack fake YouTube fun house. Sorry, I was meaning, but you know, whatever. They're not. I don't like them. Open! So am I gonna shoot Mr. Tops to death? Or like, do I have to solve puzzles and shit? To kill Mr. Tops. I need a key! Darn it, I need a key! It's a Resident Evil 2 quote right there. From my daughter. Sherry Birkin. Anyway, RE2 remake Sherry, anyway. Vanilla RE2, uh, Sherry's annoying as shit. Oh, oh, oh look at him! It's tiny little top, top boys! Yeah, look at him! They're tiny little top babies! Aww, they're so cute! I'm gonna murder all of them. Because I'm sure I'm going to press a button and they're all going to come out and kill one. Kill me. Looks like something fits here. My dick! I'm going to slap my dick there. Alright, give it to me. Oh, goody, goody, gum. Yep, here you go. Get her! No! You bad! Go away! The fuck out! No! Get out of here! I'm sick of your shit! Y'all better be dead! Alright, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> Ooh, what's in here? Did she live like this? I figured there'd like be a secret or something in there. But I guess not. Huh? Any you punks wanna play ball? Oh, hey, it's just like the game. Oh, they're coming for me, Cal. Cal, they're coming for me in a single file. Poor oh, bastards never knew what hit him. I guess I don't have to crouch. Ah, what the fuck? Why didn't you guys come out earlier, you lazy sex of shit? Oh no, I, I guess it was whatever, it's fine, whatever. It's fine. Anything? No? Alright. Anything? No? Alright. I'm Mr. Tops. This dude's got, like, fucking top hats on his fucking red carpet, Cal. 
You have top hats on your red carpet? Oh good, we have a cursed dagger! I hope he has a top hat in his PP, and I hope his PP has a smiley face. Like a little smiley face PP. Cal, would you want to see Mr. Tops' smiley face PP? I have a key though! I have a cursed dagger! What the fuck more do you want? Do I gotta stab this thing then? Maybe? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. Jack's off a lot. How's it going, dude? We really are quite cute. Oh, and it's Kalia as well. <gasps> there he is. I'm gonna go save first. <clears throat> Top hat booty. Mr. Tops. Da, ah, there she is. You play a good game, Stacy. I'm here to end this, you maniac. I see. Stubborn till the end. I know who and what you are. I will stop you and end this nightmare. You mean the developer? <laughs> he was just a vessel. What I am is far older and more powerful than your mind can comprehend. Did you really think that I wasn't in control this whole time? And that I didn't plan for all of this to happen? Uh -huh. What are you talking about? Stacy, you see, I've been looking for a player like you. Someone who could destroy the book and free me from Leviathan's grasp. And now that the book is destroyed, I'm no longer bound to this game. And you have proven strong enough to be my new vessel. I ain't gonna be your vessel, fuck you. No, this can't be right. I don't understand what's going on, but I won't let you take me alive. Yeah, fuck you. I don't need you alive. Oh, shit. I just need your body. My boy's got scythes and Freddy Krueger gloves. I will <coughs> <get to return coughs> to you. And wings. So many new players. And so many new games to play. Hey. Uh oh. Me. Ow! Wait. Bad. The bad Mr. Tops, get away from me. Now you can seduce him. Seduce him for me. Hey, get away from me. Uh oh. Is there something in the room? Get off of me! A oh. Mr. Tops. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any secret shit in the room. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> He is shitting black blood, though. Maybe he was supposed to- Oh, there's something on his back. Huh? Hey, stop it. Stop it. Ow. Let me hit your pissy back! Ow.
Uh-oh. Hell, you love Mog Drip. Mog Drip. Well, they call you Mog Drip Cow. Get away from me. Now hold still, I want to shoot your back. Fucking reloading. that you play an indie horror game and there's a fucking bona fide boss fight. I mean, I still have 50 pistol bullets, but I don't know how long this is going to take. And I used all my shoddy shells, so I'm a little upset. Get away from me! Ow! Oh my god, you- The invisible bullets too? Get out of here! do if the boss fight did involve piss? Hey, get me! What are you, a vampire? You some kind of Dracula? Get away from me. Stop moving. I'm gonna fuck you up with this fucking... Crowbar, you, you rat fuck. You rat so beaten motherfucker! Oh, Jesus, what the fuck? Oh. You rat so beaten motherfucker, get away from me! What do you, what do you think you're doing, huh? I got a gun. Uh-oh. Hey! Hey, it's rude. Stop that. You stop moving. Hey, thanks. Hey! Get off of me! Fuck you and the horse you rode in on, you you rat fuck! I've beaten Elden Ring. Hey, he's dead. I think. Stab the I shit out of him! Won't you just fucking die! Oh yeah, he's bleeding piss! Game over. Asshole. What a fun guy. Stacy, you've done it! You defeated Mr. Tops and Leviathan. Who are you? How do you know my name? I'm the original developer of this game and its first victim. My flesh was twisted into the grotesque form you see before you. Oh. I'm nothing more than a battery that powers Mr. Tops' projection in the game 
and the real world. Well, I mean, you should you should probably go like see a doctor, like get some topical cream. I killed that bastard with his own dagger. There's nothing left of him. You're free. Unfortunately, when you signed the book and were pulled into this world, a barrier was broken in your mind. A small seed was planted by Mr. Tops. And while he was not able to fully enact his plan, that seed will continue to grow until you are like me and he is reborn. Oh. Are you saying there's no way to stop him and that all this was for nothing and I'm screwed either way? There is one option. Below me is the last remaining source code for the game. If you were to destroy it, all remaining references to Leviathan and Mr. Tops would be removed, effectively erasing everything. Oh! What about you and I? What would happen to us? My physical body in the real world was destroyed. All that remains of me is here in this game, so I too would be erased from existence. Your body still exists outside the game. Maybe you'll just wake up and everything will seem like a bad dream. But there is also the possibility that your mind could be erased as well. Your body will survive, but you wouldn't. Oh, good. The choice is yours, Stacy. Oh. I want to shoot him in the face. Oh, so that's how I delete the source code? Just bludgeon it with a crowbar? Yeah, it works. That tracks. I'm fine with that. Is... is it over? Oh. I can't believe it worked. I'm home. Now smash this th floppy and disk. Still me. And throw it away. Wait, what? Yeah. Fuck this game. Hey, we did it! Oh, maybe this was a one-man uh, dev team. Outside of the publisher. Ah, never mind. We got some artists. Your credits are slow, my guy. Becky Rose, RJ Green, Kevin Baird, Astrid WS, Gina Town, shout out to the QA team, uh, whatever Godspeed Gaming Solutions is. Oh, that's... that's sad.
Yeah, overall, I like the game. Uh, outside of uh, the, I thought that last chunk where you you have to like stealth through enemies that are invisible, then they can't be killed. Uh, I, I wasn't too keen about that. But overall, I really liked it and thought that the 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 premise was fun. I've also between this and stories untold, I've I've kind of. Uh, realized I'm kind of, I guess, a sucker for text adventures. It's kind of neat. So I guess if there's like a text adventure horror game, I'd be interested in doing that. Let's turn this dev key thing off, because I'm, you know, we've only been streaming for an hour. Uh, I don't know what I'll swap to, but let's mark off Suffer the Night. Uh, Bazinga. Cal, you love dark side detectives. Uh, yeah, all right, so... Yeah, I'm gonna BRB with something else. Let me, let me take, like, five, ten minutes, stretch break, all that fun shit, and I'll catch you in a few. We'll